Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I'm here today to share some news, which is that I am uh, closing up the shop here in New York. I have loved working in the shop that I've been in for about four years now. It has served me very well, and its upgrade from where I was in my little apartment building in Manhattan has been phenomenal. Uh, so I thought what I would do in this video is uh, one final last walkthrough. It's been a little bit frantic because the move date keeps getting moved up, and I've got a lot of work I want to get done in addition to packing up the shop, tearing down equipment, etc. So uh, I would apologize, but the truth is uh, the apology would be pretty worthless. The shop is just not as clean as I'd like it to be, especially to show you guys around. But uh, I've always been a little protective because I've run my shop in a, a residence. So I, I've always tried to be a little protective about what I share, but you know what? Uh, we're out of here, so I thought what I'd do is one last walkthrough you guys can see the flow of the shop. Some of it's already been packed up, so it's not completely representative of how I run it over the past few years, but it should be fun uh, nevertheless. I'll, I'll take you even outside so you can see in. Maybe it'll surprise you guys. Uh, it's really a pretty compact area. And then, uh, excitingly, we'll uh, take you over to the new shop. Let's take a walk around. All right, there's the chair that uh, yours truly sits in, and I've got my tripod and my main light right there. And uh, you guys are probably familiar with a lot of this shot, but uh, there's my main CAD computer and my uh, Mac that I edit the videos on. I've already started taking down some of the workbench stuff again. And so, uh, again, this is my main work area. You guys know that by now. Um, another little workbench off to the side. I've got a little printer scanner there for now. And some storage. Um, that used to be a reloading bench you're looking at right there. It got converted into a sort of a secondary project bench. The uh, part, sorry for the towels, that's a customer project that I've got uh, sitting right there. And then over in that corner used to be where I did a lot of the assembly. A little blast cabinet, a bandsaw, uh, some stuff that I'm actually going to sell on Craigslist because I've got duplicates already at the new shop. Uh, racking and storage, raw materials. I used to make a lot of use of the overhead rafters for storage as well. Um, this was more inventory, household stuff. I kept my sheet metal, you know, diacro stuff down here. A little safe. More storage and wood. Sorry for the lighting, folks, on this one. Um, more storage as well. So that was sort of the basement portion, if you will. And then uh, when you head into the shop, you guys all know the Tormach right there. I uh, already moved a lot of the raw materials to the new shop. The surface grinder, the punch, the drill press. Uh, it's a little bit messy again. Um, tools, tool holders, welding stuff, the lathe. I got my engine crane set back up, getting ready to move uh, all the equipment and the compressor. I just picked up that pallet jack you can see right there. There's the torch mate, my oxyacetylene, the American rotary three-phase converter that's uh, actually really hard to see in this light. And uh, we'll walk outside here. You can see there's my truck. And uh, here we are in my neighborhood. And if we turn around, you can see there's the shop and there's the house. So uh, it's cozy. Certainly no complaints. But um, I would, uh, I'll be remiss if I said I'd miss it. It's, it's been good to me, but I'm very much excited for the future. So that's a little tour. You guys, uh, I've had a number of inquiries from folks asking for a tour and understanding how I work the shop. Unfortunately, this isn't the best example of that because I don't have a lot of projects going on right now. Uh, and I'm in the process of moving and it's a little bit messy, but uh, there's no way I could uh, move out of here and not give you guys one last tour. Okay, well, uh, sayonara New York. Let's head over to the new shop. And here we are. We're in the new shop. I can't tell you how excited I am. We're here in rural southern Ohio, and this is actually where I grew up. Uh, my grandfather built the shop we're in right now when he retired as a heavy steel fabricator about 30 years ago. I'm proud to say that he's uh, alive and well uh, and actually be sharing the shop with him. He's uh, 89 and he still comes up every day and you can see the buzz box behind me and this nice big welding table and um, I thought what I'd do, um, this is a little bit improvised, I just brought my basic equipment out this week. My wife and I and uh, three-month-old Will took a trip out to bring uh, some equipment and raw materials and take a look at some homes. Uh, so I don't have all my stuff with me and the lighting isn't as good as I normally like it to be. But I thought what I'd do is just do a quick walk around the shop. 
uh, inside and outside and uh, I haven't figured out where I'm going to put everything just yet, but uh, I think you guys will see. Uh, I'm pretty excited and I have to say, for the folks that have been watching since I started this channel in about 2006, moving from a one bedroom uh, Manhattan apartment uh, to this is, uh, or you know, moving from a one bedroom Manhattan apartment to a home shop in the basement in the suburbs to this where I've got you know, overhead uh, joists that can support a bridge crane with two tons, uh, I'm excited. So a lot of good things to come. Uh, what, I will apologize in advance. Uh, my final move with all my equipment is scheduled for early July. So between now and July, I'm probably gonna have a hard time putting out videos or at least good content. Um, and it'll probably take me a few weeks once I get here to get set back up. But I thought what I would do is do some videos along the way with the move showing how I'm packing up the shop. And uh, well, the move itself should be interesting. So uh, without further ado, let's take a walk around. I'm breaking my cardinal rule here and not using a tripod. Uh, but here we're walking in the front door. You can see a couple of wood planers, a couple of belt sanders. That guy there is a two by 72. Uh, a lot of this stuff these days is oriented for woodworking. Um, there's one of the main work benches, a little heat treat oven, a little drill press and a big 220 phase drill press, a Beverly shear, nice, uh, nice three quarter inch plate welding table, some grinders. Uh, see here, we'll span up ahead. You can see the trusses. We've got some uh, little uh, hoist, chain hoist on them. Like, uh, see that guy right there. We currently heat it with a home built wood stove in the winter. Uh, may eventually switch that to gas if I'm using this uh, enough to justify it, but we've got a farm with a bunch of trees, so hard to argue with a wood stove. Here's a cool machine. This is a uh, little giant trip hammer. You'll be seeing that in the future. Here's a Haas field and some more woodworking, sanders, hmm, what else? Here's a, my grandfather was a big knife maker, so he uh, had a lot of knife making equipment, and this was a lot of the leather tools for sheaths. Um, let's see here, a little table saw, and a lot of our wood. I'm proud to say a lot of the wood we work with around here, walnut, cherry, oak, actually comes from our family farm. Uh, and I actually meant to mention that. The property we're sitting on right now is, uh, there we go, better lighting. This property, uh, I'm proud to say, has been in my family since 1820. My great, great, great grandfather, I think, um, came here and, and has this farm. It's about a 400 acre farm. And uh, I say, while we're, out, while we're outside, there's one of the farmhouses and one of the barns, and there's my truck. And here's the outside of the building. Uh, I think it's a little shy of 3,000 square feet, uh, but I don't have a tape on it to, to get that exact right now. A couple uh, um, exterior uh, movable chain hoists, which is nice. Uh, we normally have a big John Deere here, uh, but it's out. One of the guys is out mowing with it right now. Let's uh, adjust the lighting here. We'll go back inside. Little mule, and uh, the rest of this is woodworking. Actually, here's a cool thing. This is a forge, and as a kid, my grandfather and I did a lot of forging work. Um, a lot of ornamental iron, fireplace. Actually, there's the fireplace set. A couple extra ones right there. Um, you know, I like it. Not my favorite. Yeah, you know, I like machining more. But um, I'm certainly proud to do it, and I have to think we'll have some fun projects there. Nice anvil and a oxyacetylene. Um, this used to be the office. He took the desk out, but um, we'll see. I may end up making it to be used as an office again. Uh, interesting thing I always thought my grandfather did that was cool was we have a lot of the tools out here, but in the office, he always had an extra set of certain things. For instance, drill bits. There's always a good, complete set of drill bits in the office, and if you ever used one, you used it, and without exception, you always took it right back there. Never, ever any exception to that rule. That way, when you had a job going, if you broke a drill or you needed a really precise or a new bit, and I'm just using a drill as an example, you always knew you had one. Um, and then we've used most of this end over here as, as storage. There's some steel racking there that's probably hard to see with the lighting. Sorry about that, folks. Again, I don't have all my equipment here. Um, you can actually see I brought a lot of my aluminum and uh, steel over. It's kind of stacked up there amidst the wood. And there are some of the bins. Again, not great lighting, but you guys get the idea. More overhead chain hoists and pulleys and so forth. Um, and yeah, so 
Um, I'm kind of laughing because, uh, again, for those of you who have followed me since 2006, maybe this is shedding some light where, um, you know, even when I didn't know a lot about machining, I was self-taught. I did have the fortunate experience of growing up on this farm and doing a lot of uh, this type of work. Um, so I, I guess it would be a fib to say I was a, you know, city slicker who started from scratch. Uh, but I can't tell you how excited I am to get back here. Um, great things to come. So as always, folks, thanks for watching. I uh, and can't tell you enough uh, uh, how excited I am to share this move and get some videos rolling once we get settled in here. So I'll, I'll stop yapping now. But uh, as always, folks, I do appreciate you guys watching, following, subscribing, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. Um, and goes without saying, stay tuned.